Right, thank you, Admin. Uh, let's get started uh, today. We'll be talking about transaction database. Uh, my name is Ahmad Pardiansha and I'm from GLC Networks. So uh, the agenda that we'll be talking uh, tonight in this, uh, what is it, uh, New Year's Eve? <laughs> okay, uh, our, uh, we'll be talking about database, just introduction about the SQL principles and transaction. This is uh, the, the most important thing uh, uh, about the about, uh, about our topic tonight, okay? Uh, there will be a live practice and because uh, um, and because it is important to have a practice. So I would rather to um, send the live practice account access to all of you right now so that you can try and then log in. Uh, just let me know if you have any difficulties. And yeah, uh, off you go. Uh, after you log in and then uh, after you successfully log into our server, and uh, you are allowed to log into the database. Okay, so when you log in, uh, let me check. Okay, uh, let me share the command to access the database. Okay, here it is. Okay, so there will be two commands. Uh, first is you have to log into live practice server, okay? After that, you can access the uh, you can access the database server. So uh, the live practice server consists of two servers. The first server is just an SSH server. You can log in there, and after you log in, uh, you can access the database server. So there are two servers there. Right. Okay, please try and make sure you can access them. Uh, yeah, so like what I'm doing here, I can access the database. Right. Okay. I will be logging in as well. Oops. Okay, I'm in. Oh. That's correct. What's going on? Hmm. Okay, so uh, for the password, uh, database password, uh, I can uh, I can check it later. or we can use other, we can use other um, username for that. Okay, let me share my screen here. Okay, so first you, after you log in, and then make sure you can ping the webdevdb.lan.glcnetworks.com. Right, yes, uh, that's the IP address. And then after that, uh, you can do, uh, we are using PostgreSQL, okay, uh, and then you can log into the PostgreSQL using this command. So P, <clears throat> P SQL uh, minus H, H means a host. And then the address, okay. The address is webdev, blah, blah, blah. You can see it on your screen. And then minus U means the username and then the database name. Yeah, so the first one here is the username, okay. So this is the username. And then this is the database name, okay? So user and database, okay? 
So that's different. All right, let's continue then. Okay, when I log in. Okay, uh, let me change the password later, okay? Yeah, let's continue with the topics. Okay, so for those who haven't got the access to the SSH server, uh, can you tell me who already joined? Oh, okay, I can see some of you already joined. Yes, thank you very much. Right, thank you. <clears throat> okay, let's continue then. Uh, so this will be our agenda. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Introduction, so GLC is an organization in Indonesia. We are based in Bandung and our areas are training and IT consulting. We are certified partner for Microtech Ubiquiti Linux. Uh, we have our own products that is uh, GLC Radius Manager or GLC Billing. Uh, it's a software that can manage uh, an ISP so that uh, uh, we are managing from the billing until the connection connectivity to the NAS. Okay, so the username and password, uh, we are managing that. Uh, if uh, we are also doing the billing, so uh, for example, uh, so if the account is expired, the user is not paying the money, <laughs> for example, and then the account will be expired and then they cannot access the internet. Okay, about myself, my name is Ahmad. I'm based in Bandung, um, Linux user 99, since 1999. Microtech in 2007, Ubiquiti 2011. I'm certified trainer and consultant. If you have LinkedIn, we can connect. Uh, yeah, uh, that is, this is my LinkedIn uh, uh, URL. And then if you want, you can uh, type my name on Google and then you will see my information about me. About past experience, uh, 2020, uh, it was a hard, hard year. <laughs> yeah, hard, it's a, it's a tough year for everyone. Uh, we, have, we got a pandemic for the whole year. And then most of the project are halted. Um, yeah, many people, I mean, not that lucky uh, in this year, um, but uh, thankfully uh, we still got some project uh, related to network, for example, in Malaysia, in Congo. And then uh, hopefully uh, the project will be continued next year. So hopefully. Uh, um, by the way, uh, we are opening an internship for our, our organization. So if you want to apply and then uh, we will upload the, we will send you an, an email uh, saying that we are opening an internship here. So the int internship is, is minimum of four months. Yeah, uh, so we'll give you a training and also you will be participating in uh, one of our projects. Okay, for more information, we will tell you later about the internship. Okay. 
Uh, that was about past experiences. Uh, next about the webinar. Uh, we start the webinar in New Year, uh, the first day of the year in 2010. So, and today <laughs> it's the New Year's Eve and the last day of the year. <laughs> so I don't know whether it's coincident or not, but uh, we don't plan of this. So uh, we are trying to be consistent to have a webinar every Thursday night. Okay, and then this year, uh, I don't know whether it's lucky or not, <laughs> the webinar is on the New Year's Eve. Well, uh, congratulations for everyone <laughs> for joining our webinar here. About yourself, uh, so I can see some of you are Indonesian, maybe some of you are not. Okay, you just uh, inform us uh, about yourself uh, we would like to uh, really if you would like to uh, uh, really appreciate uh, about your introductions if you don't mind here yeah. right about the database so database or rdbms so rdbms is relational database management system that's what it stands for so dbms is a database management system it's the software so database is just a database uh, it's the is the place to put all the data so dbms means the software that manages those data <clears throat> and rdbms means relational database management system so it means that the software that manages the data in a certain ways so uh, with DBMS, you will see, because this is uh, RDBMS, right? Which stands for relational. And the way it manages data is by using table and then using relation between the tables. So with the tables, you will see things like foreign key and then things like primary key. So uh, it's linked from one table to the other tables, okay? Uh, some examples of RDBMS software. So DBMS means the software, see the management system. So means the software. Uh, most popular is uh, MySQL, everyone knows that. Uh, main, mostly used for, for web, website like WordPress, okay. So WordPress is using MySQL, but in our project, uh, we usually use this PostgreSQL. Why? Because uh, PostgreSQL has many features that we are, we are using, like, uh, okay, it supports transaction, it supports time zone, okay, time zone for the timestamp and then many others uh also json it support json data type and uh, other, other things so uh but today we are not talking about the whole postgresql features uh, <laughs> uh we'll be talking about the transaction database uh, in this case is the we are using database of postgresql okay so uh when we use RDBMS, uh, of course, we'll be using an SQL. SQL is a structured query language. It's the language to communicate to RDBMS. Okay, so, well, you can you, you can Google it, the SQL. Okay, and then we also have a training about SQL as well. Started from beginner until for data science, uh, I mean, data analytics. Okay? So uh, when you talk, when we talk about SQL, <clears throat> uh, there are uh, several keywords that we are using. Uh, those keywords will be uh, DDL, uh, data definition language. Uh, it's, it's the keyword for creating the dat dat uh, data table. You alter it, you rename. Crankate means to delete the content and then the drop, drop means like a delete, okay? So we are using drop instead of delete, okay? So drop means for table, 
Okay, and delete is for entry, so record. Okay, so that's why we, we distinguish that. Okay, so distinguish between DDL and DML. Otherwise, we are using just use delete. Okay, that makes us confused. All right. Uh, and then we also have a DCL, data control language. So this one is to is used to uh, control the control the uh, what is it? Uh, uh, control the permission. Okay. Yes. Okay, control the permission of the uh, of, of a user. Okay, and then uh, we have a data manipulation language. So uh, this is the most uh, keyword that we are using when we uh, use uh, DBMS. Okay, uh, if you develop an application, you will see this CRUD. CRUD stands for create. Okay, stands for create, a read, delete, uh, update, and delete. Okay, so uh, in SQL, we are using select, okay, uh, insert, update, and delete. Okay, so CRUD actually is not a language, it's just a term that we use to describe our operation and our applications. Okay, so application. So, for example, if you set up a form, uh, HTML form, and then that form can, after you submit, press submit, uh, and then that it will execute an uh, SQL command. Okay. Next is ACID principle. ACID stands for atomicity. Uh, consistency, isolation, and uh, durability. So atomicity means each transaction. So as it principle, see this refers to transaction. Okay, so every transaction, transaction means uh, command, okay. So command is treat, treated as single unit, so as individual. So either their success completely or fail completely. So uh, atomicity, um, sometimes people refers to uh, all or nothing. Okay, so all, um, all user or all commands executed successfully Okay, if one failed and then the whole uh, group will be considered as failed. Okay, so that's, that's the meaning of uh, atomicity. Okay, anything else? Any, any questions so far? No, no questions? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's continue then. All right. Uh, so consistency means every uh, a transaction can only bring database a change. So, so one a change uh, will be consistent. So if I'm changing something and then it, it changes, okay, so it's consistent change, okay. And then isolations. Isolation means uh, uh, a change that is done by a user cannot be uh, altered by other users. So for example, this is a, this is a database, okay. And then usually database is uh, accessed by by many many users, right? This is user number one, 
this is user number two, and then we have this is user number three. So if user number one is, is changing something, that changes will not be seen by user two and user three. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we can, uh, I'll, I'll be doing an example here. Um, yeah, uh, for, for this one, okay. And then durability means uh, changes will be done permanently. So if you change something, after you change, after the change, uh, it will be, uh, the changes will be, will be there, will be, will be safe permanently. So even though after the booting, after the crash, after everything, after, after the transaction done, and then the changes will be permanently written into the database. Okay. So, so we have talked about the database SQL and then uh, the principle of uh, transaction, which is acid, atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability. And then we talk about the transaction. So transaction is a, is a feature uh, when we execute, when we, um, we usually we apply transaction uh, when we execute several SQL command and then treat them as a one group, one whole group. So we send several, several uh, commands. And uh, after that, uh, after we send all of them, we, we treat them as a one group. So if one failed and then uh, uh, the whole process will be will be uh, canceled, okay? So it's all or nothing principle. So please refer to ACID, uh, atomicity uh, principle, right? It's all or nothing. So uh, all, uh, all, um, all uh, transactions should be executed successfully or uh, we have to revert back to the uh, previous state, okay? So uh, we call it uh, a rollback or undo, okay? Uh, transaction uh, can be only applied on command that manipulates the data. So this is the DML. Okay, so previously we know that the DML was uh, a, a command for manipulating the data, changes the data from one state to the other states. So the application, that, um, I mean, the transaction will be applied on these uh, uh, commands only, okay? So if you want to insert a new data, um, update the data, delete the data, and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, we start the transaction with uh, begin, and then we end them with commit or rollback. Okay, so if one command execute the executed failed, okay, uh, it's not successfully executed, and then automatically it will be rollback. Okay, so that's the concept. So hopefully you can uh, follow the the uh, the, uh, the the materials on slides okay so uh, this is my login okay and then uh, I tried to log in with uh, uh, other connection. Okay, I'll be using um, I'll be using different different uh, name. Okay, oh, seventeen, for example. Right. Okay, let me open that into a new a new. Uh, Username, okay. Okay, so I'll be accessing the database with 
with two users. Okay, so users 20 and then user 17. Okay, let me open the um, the window here and then uh, yeah we can compare the results on between these two uh, console okay so i'm trying to log into the database server okay using the, the password that i gave you so same thing here Okay, I'm done. So I'm in the, the database name live practice. Okay, so I'm, I'm logging as live practice and then my database is live practice. So same username, uh, same, uh, same database, right? So if you want to display, uh, you cannot, <laughs> unfortunately you cannot see databases like what you usually do in MySQL, right? So we, we are using Postgres. And then if you want to display uh, the, all databases, you can use uh, backslash L. Okay, so this is the one. If you want to connect to one of them, <coughs> you can use backslash C. Uh, actually, this is, uh, the server is used for, for our training. So as you can see, uh, most of our interns uh, yeah, I think I've informed you we have an internship. Yes, started in this January, not this January, next, next, tomorrow. Yeah, started from tomorrow. Uh, started, um, started in January. Uh, yeah, we will inform you later about the details. Okay, so uh, the database here are belong to the, uh, some of them are students. Okay, so they are using the database here. They can access from home for finishing their project. So if you want to connect to one of them, uh, you can use uh, backslash C to connect, right? Okay, so I already connect to the database. And then we have, oh, okay, we have warning here. Oh, okay, so our um, SQL client is using version 10, but the server is using version 11. So uh, there are version difference here. So actually uh, for a client and server, has it has to be a, a same version. Yeah, otherwise we're going to have uh, some problems. But uh, for normal operation, uh, like a simple operations uh, should be okay. okay. Right, so uh, <clears throat> we are successfully list all of the database done, and then we can check uh, how many tables we have. What up is on uh, X less L, uh, X less D, for example. Okay, so this is the this is the table that we have in our database. So. Uh, this is our database, right? So our database is live practice. And inside the database, we have several tables here. Okay. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Okay, some of them are table. Some of them are sequence. So sequence is like, uh, um, like a sequence, okay, uh, a, a function that generates the, the what is it, uh, that generates the, uh, a number. Usually it's used for auto increment. Right, okay, let's continue. So uh, we'll be using the accounts, uh, so we can use select, select star, oops. from accounts. Oh, permission denied. Hmm. Oh, because uh, the owner is not live practice. Okay, uh, let me change it.
Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I turned off my uh, audio. Oh. Okay, I'll the uh... oh, it's not working. Mm. Okay, can somebody uh, help me altering this one? Because uh, we are going to use this for our um, live practice. Oh, okay, maybe we can use other way, which is uh, okay, select account. Oh yeah, okay, so let's drop this one and then we can create again. Okay, and drop. Oh. Drop table accounts, yeah. Yes. And then we select them. Yeah, okay, so uh, all of them are gone. And then we can uh, create the tables again using SQL. Great. Oh, sorry. Uh, control D, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so this is our, um, table now. So I already recreate them and then uh, use um, a new user for the database. Uh, so that we can just select star from accounts and then here it is. So we have three records here that is saying uh, the Uh, the content of the the content of the uh, table. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three columns. Okay, the the first column here is the so the first column is the um, account number and then account name and then here's the uh, account uh, balance, okay, the balance. Okay, let me check the way to display. Uh, backslash D, backslash DT. Yeah. Accounts. 
Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Here we have uh, an SQL to create the uh, columns. Okay, so there are four columns actually. So the first column is ID, number, name, and balance. So if you want to insert, we can use, okay, let's display it first. Okay, we can use insert into uh, accounts. Accounts, yeah, where values, okay, equals to, for example, so this is one, two, three, we can use four, and then uh, one, zero, four, for example, yeah, and then it's D. So this is a string because uh, because this is string we have to put the uh, what is it uh, a qu uh, a qu single quotes okay D stands for uh, daddy and then for uh, for balance we use one zero four point four for example and then and then done. We execute them and then select. Uh, we can see uh, a new entry here. So from here, if we check, uh, yeah, mm. if we check and then we can see the 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 accounts. Okay, the accounts table. Okay, so select star from accounts. Yeah, so the same, same, um, same uh, results. Okay, so, uh, so this is I'm, I'm a bank. Okay, so I want to. Uh, so there is there is a there is a there is a transaction for transfer, right? So I want to transfer a money from uh, Beta to Anna. Okay, what should I do? So I can use update, okay, update accounts, set, okay, set uh, balance equals to balance minus five, okay? Where, where uh, number, so this is number, right? Account number, uh, that's the name of the, yeah, that, that's the name of the column, right? So the number equals to uh, 103, okay, execute. Oh, so I made a mistake, so I have to put S, I forgot to use S here, and then update, done. Okay, so what's the result? So beta here will be changed from 302 into 297. Okay, so I want to do transfer from beta, or maybe order by. Order by, by number. Yeah, so I want to transfer from beta to Anna. So it means that I have to, I have to do a second 
second uh, second command okay so in this case is plus uh, and then the number is 102 okay and then you can see Anna now is 108 beta is uh, 290 okay so that's that's how the transaction uh, in 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 banking right so the first here will be changed beta here the second transaction here will be changed here right yeah okay so the money from beta to ana okay so as simple as that so we need to do two two command two queries Okay, so the problem is what happened when the, the the first query is okay, but the second query is not okay. And then we have a problem, right? So we already deduct beta, but for Anna, I don't receive any money. <laughs> See, uh, we have problem here, right? Okay, so what, we do to eliminate this problem is by using transaction okay so we say begin okay so i will i will do another transaction see okay i'm updating the uh the what is it 103 the beta so when i do select order by number okay so beta is only decreased from from uh, 302 oh sorry oh sorry so from here from uh, 1297 okay 297 minus 5 equals to 292 okay so I already removed some money, but but from here it's still two nine seven. Okay, can you see the difference? So this is what we call isolation. Okay, so for the second, so this is user two. This is user two. This is user one. Okay. User two is still C, beta is 297, but user one, C only already 292. Okay, see the difference? Okay. Why is it different? Because we are starting a transaction here by starting begin, but we haven't finished it. Okay. So how do we finish that? by setting up either rollback or commit and then when we execute the second for example we execute here the, the next command and then uh, this uh, command is is fail for example okay update zero so we need to do rollback done so when we do rollback, let's check. So beta is back from 292 to 297. Okay, and then from here, what we see, so nothing happened, okay? So from here to here, so nothing happened because this is the second user. But from the first user, we can see that the, the changes that was done here, okay, will be undo by rollback. And then this is uh, the previous state of the data, okay? So <clears throat> the previous state was 297, and then we change it to 292 and then we turn it back okay so actually here 
this is 297 okay so from 297 okay so here's the flow okay let me write them down so here it's 297 okay we do a transaction here and then we execute this and this will become 292 unfortunately the second second uh, command was failed so we need to undo and then we change the uh, we uh, roll back the change we undo the change back to the previous states like this okay uh, you guys understand <laughs> is it too fast or what okay okay let's do once again uh, and this time i'll do the commit okay let's check this the previous states okay it's 297 okay <clears throat> i start the transaction Okay, and then I change the beta for minus five. Okay, I just transfer five dollar from beta to Anna. Okay, I put here minus five. And then for the plus five, I give it to one zero, maybe one zero one to Charlie. Okay. And then we check the results. Okay, as you can see, our money, our money is already gone from here to here. Okay, so this is the previous states. And this is the new state. Okay. Uh, our money, the the money is already transferred, but from the user to everything is the same, just like previous one. Same. Okay, so nothing changed. Okay, so nothing changed here. So. How can we make it permanent? Well, by using the commit. Commit. So this uh, concludes the ACID, the last ACID uh, component, which is the, uh, what is it, atomicity, uh, <laughs> Margaret, I need to check the, I need to check the, the slides. The durability, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Slides. Okay. So here it is. Uh, we check again. Select. Well, it's nothing changed on the user A, user one. I mean, so this is before commit, and then this is after commit. Okay. Nothing changed. But here, as you can see, when we select, yeah, and now it's changed. Okay, so here and here. What changed? This and this into this and this. So before commit, this is what they see. After commit, this is what they see. Okay, so that's the durability means in in uh, uh, database transaction. Uh, so database transaction is very important uh, when you execute several commands and you treat them as one group. All right, uh, any questions? Hello, am I speaking too fast? No, not really. Uh, maybe I want to ask. But okay, if, who is speaking? Uh, I'm Saman. Oh, Saman, okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead. It's not 
but it's not uh, related to to acid. Oke okay, ya. Yeah. Uh, it's about uh, relational between table. Oh ya. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. As far Mr. Ahmad uh, know based on experience. Ya. Yeah. When we uh, design the database. Ya. Yeah. Uh, which better for, for performance and security using relation between database or without relation? Oh, using relation. With relation database. With relation, uh, we are clearly sure that the data that you enter has to be linked to other tables. So that that ensure your con consistency of your data. But sometimes if you want to do uh, restore, for example, if you want to restore a table, sometimes the data cannot be entered because of that constraint. Okay, because we have a foreign key, right? The foreign key is not entered yet. So that's why when we do a restore, so we usually set the constraint later. So we, we, we put all the data first, okay, when we restore the data, and then later on, we uh, uh, we set up the constraint uh, at the later part. Okay, so okay. that's my suggestion if you set up an uh, application. Of course, when you set up a a uh, a link or foreign key, uh, there will be a performance degradation because uh, they have to make sure that the other tables that there will be a uh, uh, <clears throat> a process to look at the other tables, yes, yes, but uh, it's not that significant, okay? So if you think, oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, just for a few nanoseconds, you know, nanoseconds, 10 to the power of minus nine, okay? <laughs> I, I think that is negligible. Uh, I, I, if you if you ask me, uh, do you want to use, are you using the, a uh, uh, relation between tables by using foreign key. Yes, I, I will do that. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions. Good, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Anyone? Uh, no questions? Okay, right. Uh, thank you. Well, I think uh, that concludes our webinar today. Uh, Admin, do you have some words to say? Okay, again, uh, we are opening an internship. Uh, if you want to know more on the details, uh, you can ask admin. Okay, so I think I will conclude the webinar here regarding the uh, transaction and database. It's something that you have to do when you execute many SQL commands. Uh, and group them as one. Uh, if you are using framework like Laravel or Yi or uh, Drupal or um, what is it, uh, Django, if you are using Python, uh, they all they already uh, set up uh, a way to use the database uh, transaction. So you can just Google their documentation and then uh, check if you want to use the database. What should I do in my programming? Well, I think uh, that's all. Uh, do you have any words, admin? Yes, uh, so everybody, thank you very much for your attendance. We hope this webinar will give you a good benefit and value. And please submit your feedback if you have any feedback and uh, if you have any question, uh, question or maybe an idea for the next webinar, just uh, write in there. So feedback is really important to us. So really appreciate for your coming today. Uh, oh yeah, for internship, just uh, contact our WhatsApp and I think we have uh, in, in, we put in our web, uh, web, website tomorrow. And uh, can, uh, the last que uh, question uh, request is, can you turn on your video? We can take picture in the last day of the, the oh, year. Last, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the last picture in the, the day of the year. <laughs> right, right, okay. Cool. Yeah, the last webinar. Right, so guys, can you please turn on your camera, please? Can you please? Yeah, we're going to have a photo session here. <laughs> so thank you, thank you very much. Last for your day coming. of the year, okay.
Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, let's take a picture. Please smile. Smile, guys. For your future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. Yes. All right. Anything else, admin? Okay, so we wish you have a wonderful new year. May the new yeah. year bring you more love, happiness, and blessings. And uh, keep safe, healthy, and prosperous this year. All right. Thank Hello. you very okay. much. Okay. See you Thank next you. year. <laughs>